What up, man? It's your boy Super Dave. This is the first, uh, we'll call it a blog of some sort. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about relationship and fellowship, okay? Look at it like this. In church, we say this. We say that it's not about religion. It's about relationship. But I propose to you that it's not about relationship and it's about fellowship. Because the Bible says that God is married to the backslider. So he's related to the backslider. I got plenty of relatives, and I know you got plenty of relatives who you never, ever talk to. And you got the relatives that you call only when you need something because you know they caked up. But I really want to, don't want to deal with the mouth that they're going to give me because give me the bread that I need because I'm in a tight spot. And that's kind of how we do Jesus. We want to be related to him, but we don't want to be in fellowship with him. Paul said in Galatians chapter 3, verse 9 and 10, he said that we may know the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Real, true love is birthed through adversity. You don't know what you got till you hard times come. When everything's easy, when everything's nice, that's fine. But adversity is when real love is birthed. David and Bathsheba, you don't see their relationship turn into marriage until their son dies. You don't see real, real, you don't even see really the love of Christ for us until he dies on the cross. You don't see the love of God for mankind until Adam sins. It's just the way it is. Real love is birth through adversity. So this real, real quick synopsis of relationship versus fellowship. I'm going to try to come up with some more of these. Some of them will be silly. Some of them will be serious. Some of them will be uh, syllabus. That's serious and silly at the same time. So uh, I need something cool to say on the way out. Um, may the Lord watch between me and thee while we are yet the not present on Christmas. Look, man, hey, man. Super Dave, just want to holler at you for just a second. Look, if you don't know Jesus, understand there's a God out there who loves you so much that he sent his only son to die while you was tripping, while you was in sin. So sin ain't the thing that disqualifies you. It's not accepting relationship and fellowship with Jesus Christ. Because if you, if you accept fellowship with Jesus Christ, then he's going to deal with the sin. So don't tell me that you got to Go, you got to get better and then come to church. Come dirty. Come messed up. Come jacked up. And God going to move on your behalf. If you was in, if you was rocking with God and you decided to walk away, the word says this, that God was married, that God is married to the backslider. So don't worry about that. God still going to pull you back by his love. His love is what's going to grab you. His love is what's going to carry you. So don't worry about it. He said he's married to the backslider. So just come. He loves you so much. He says that he's always hoping the best, that he endures all things and he bears all things. And if you are a believer, if you're walking with God right now, we got to love at another level. We got to love each other. We got to love God. We got to love him in return. He's not our genie. We just can't pull on him to get stuff. We can't, can't, just can't pull on him when we need him and not try to get to know this God. Yes, yes, he knows your heart. Yes, he knows everything that's inside of your heart. But now, try to get to know his heart. Lord, I, I got a song that says, please make your heart mine. Because it's all I want is to make him happy, to please him, and do what he say and do. Because ultimately, he knows what's best. He, got, he knows your wife. He knows your husband. So I say this. Put down the standard for a second and let God tell you what you are to have. Let God tell you who your husband is. Let God tell you who your wife is. Put down the standard for just a second. I know you got, I know you got your way and the, and the wife you think you should have and the husband you think you should have and she got to look like this and he got to have this much money. For just a second, don't trust God enough that he'll give you just what you need. All right? 25th, never, ever, ever felt the love like this. Come here, let me feed you with the fruit from my lips. I love you so much for loving this misfit. If the glove misfits, then that means I'm free. Living in, not on ecstasy. The God of love becomes the God I love. It's God I love, man, we so in love.